Hello everyone, my name is Katya and I'm an incoming PhD student at Harvard in the Applied Math program. In this video I'm going to share my experience doing a PhD admissions interview at Harvard. So when I was applying last fall, fall of 2022, I was applying to around 10 PhD programs in total and one of them was Harvard Applied Math program. I submitted my application at the end of November, the deadline was on December 15th and I heard back from a Harvard faculty administrator on January 5th, 2023 and she was asking me to schedule an interview date with my prospective PhD advisor and we agreed to speak on January 11th. In total I had three interviews as part of my admissions to the Harvard Applied Math program. Now I'm gonna share my experience of how that was. So the first interview that I had was on January 11th of 2023 and it was a chill interview. I think it lasted for about an hour. We basically discussed with my prospective PhD advisor my research interests and her research plans and goals for the next couple of years. I also had to explain the projects that I worked on in the past and how it relates to my current research interests or like the interests that I want to pursue in graduate school. So you want to make sure that you can explain how your previous research experience shaped you, how it shaped your path and why you want to do what you want to do in graduate school. The point of this interview was to understand if there is a good research fit between me and my prospective advisor. So this interview is a professor that I put first on the list of professors that I want to work with. So when you submit your PhD application, you usually include two to three names of professors that you want to work with. And then I received another email on January 17th to schedule another Zoom interview. Yeah, by the way, all of the interviews well the first two they were on zoom and the third one it was over the phone the second interview i got an email on january 17th and we ended up having my second interview on january 19th so i only had like two days to prepare so what i was asked to do for my second interview is the following i was asked to pick a paper at the intersection of geometry and machine learning that i have read and that motivates me to pursue research in that area the paper should be neither authored by me nor a faculty that i have worked with nor by my prospective PhD advisor. And during the second interview, we would discuss this paper together. I suggested a couple of papers that we could discuss and then I received the following instructions. So I was asked to give the paper a careful read so that I can explain what problem the paper addresses, what methodology it used and what analysis is performed, theoretical and or computational results. And finally, what are the key takeaways? So basically it was a technical interview where I had to explain a paper to my prospective PG advisor. The paper I picked was on equivariant convolutional neural networks. So we basically went over the paper together and I was explaining every section, like what exactly was happening there, what kind of calculations were performed, why, and then my advisor was asking me some follow-up questions. It was quite interesting to me and I enjoyed discussing that. And then I thought that <laughs> having two interviews is already more than enough, but <laughs> then on January 23rd, I received another email from a different professor that I did did not know and that I did not include in my application and he basically asked me to call the same day or the day after and basically talk over the phone. So he didn't really explain like the point of that interview and I didn't know what to expect. But we ended up talking the same day that he sent me his email. We talked in the evening over the phone for maybe 30 minutes. So he was sharing his research and his ideas and then we were discussing the ideas and it was also very interesting. And then he also asked me about what my ideal PG experience would look like. So basically he was trying to understand whether Harvard is a good fit for me. In addition to sharing my research interests with him, I also talked about my extracurricular activities and what I want to do in graduate school outside of researching classes. And I think he liked that I was interested in many different things and wanted to do something outside of my research or maybe finding applications of my research in different fields. So I was stressing the fact that I like interdisciplinary work and collaborate across different disciplines. He was saying that Harvard is a place to do that. So I had my third interview on January 23rd and then I was admitted on February 1st and a week later they sent me the details about my financial aid offer and um, the details of my admissions essentially. And then I went to the PhD open house that the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences held at Harvard in March and it was quite 
good i really enjoyed my time there i had the opportunity to meet with my advisor and uh, talk to different professors as well as students who were also admitted and i really enjoyed those couple of days note that not all of the phd programs conduct interviews so for example in my case i was also applying to uc berkeley applied math program and they did not have an interview but i was still admitted so if you don't hear back from your program for a while try to see online if it actually conducts interviews because some programs just do not offer that option there is also this website called grad cafe where you can look when others have their interviews and you can also post your updates so definitely definitely look into that i would also note that the timelines of when you hear updates on your applications can vary a lot depending on the professor that you put as your prospective PG advisor because sometimes there can be some personal commitments or maybe they're traveling in January and February and can only get back to your application in March while others program do most of the work in like January and February. I know it takes a lot of energy to keep refreshing your email and looking for updates on your application but try to <laughs> stay calm and I'm sure that in the end everything will be good and you will be at the place where you're supposed to be this is all that i wanted to share in this video i hope it was useful and give you some insight about the kinds of questions that you might be asked during your phd admissions interview if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below and i'll make sure to respond i also post on instagram much more frequently so if you want to follow me there feel free to subscribe and i will see you very soon bye